Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I'm here with my February wrap-up. This month I've read a total of eight books, all novels, no comic books or anything like that this month, unfortunately. So let's just jump into it. So the first one I have here is Smothered by Autumn Chickless. This book I got for free in a giveaway. It, i probably give it like a 2.5, maybe 3 stars. This book is about a young woman in her 20s. She is still living with her parents. She just graduated from a great college, but she's having trouble finding a job. Her mother is very materialistic and judgmental, and so she hides things from her mom. Her mom tracks where she is and on her phone and tries to find out like why are you there what are you, who are you with and everything and it's really ridiculous um, she ends up getting a boyfriend who she hides from her mother for nine months because she's worried that her mother will be so judgmental of this boyfriend and ruin their relationship honestly I just felt like it was somewhat ridiculous um I mean she's 20 something years old she won't settle for just a basic first-time job and has to be picky. She's saying she hates being unemployed, but yet barely sends out applications to anywhere. And she's so worried about her mother, yet she is 20-something years old. If she would have gotten a normal job and moved out, it would have been fine. I think she's just putting way too much pressure on herself, and I think it's ridiculous. Moving on, we have For Keeps, For Keeps by Natasha Friend. Um, I love this cover. I thought this cover was saying that I was going to get a very cute contemporary. Um, I thought it was going to really focus on the romance. Unfortunately, I felt like it more focused on her relationship with her mother and her absentee father. There was a slight little romance in there. Um, I didn't really care for it, like, at all. And I just felt like there were so many things wrong with this book. I hated our main character's attitude towards her mother the entire time. She was very rude and asshole of a teenager. Then we have Dimple Met, when Dimple Met Rishi by, I can't pronounce names, so I apologize. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of this on booktube. I actually quite enjoyed this book a lot more than I thought I would. It is a cutesy contemporary, but it was done so well. We get to learn a lot about the Indian culture um, and kind of like woman empowerment. She is a smart, independent woman. And she does fall in love, but falling in love doesn't make you, like, weak or dependent on a man. So, I mean, I think this was executed so well, and I, I loved this. I gave it a four-star rating, so yeah. And I have Our Kind of Cruelty by somebody, I can't pronounce their name again. I got this for free in a giveaway. It is an adult novel, but I really did like it. Gilligan Flynn made a, 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 a comment thing on the back. Uh, I don't know what you call them, a blurb. But anyway, this dude's completely insane. He believes his ex-girlfriend is still in love with him. And even though she's like, no, no, I'm getting married, he believes it's some sort of game. Um, And, well, it ends badly. It's pretty enticing. I was pretty sucked in during it. I don't think it was like anything too thrilling, but I did really enjoy it. I would give it a 3.5 stars. Then we have The Last to Let Go by Amber Smith. This is again another book that I received for free through a giveaway. And I quite enjoyed this story. Towards like the end, middle-ish, end-ish part, it kind of slacked for me a little bit, but I still enjoyed it. I gave it like a 3.75 stars, almost 4 stars. This book deals with an abusive father and the relationship between siblings and this mother. The mother stabs the father. That's not a spoiler because it happens within the first couple pages. And he's dead and she's in jail. So we go through all of that drama and it's pretty entertaining. 
Next is Bang by Barry Laga. I don't know. I thought this was about a school shooting. It's not at all. Um, and I found it pretty boring. I thought the concept was really interesting, but I don't think it was executed that well. It's about this boy who was four years old and killed his sister accidentally and has to deal with that guilt and he is planning to commit suicide but he falls in love with this chick and I don't I don't know it was a bunch of BS next is the madness underneath by Maureen Johnson this is the second book in the Shades of London series I thought it was good the first one was better it, it I don't think it was anything special I'm very let down because I had very high hopes for this series because the covers are just so badass looking uh yeah I don't have anything else to say it's about kind of like Jack the Ripper and ghosts and drama the last book I have to show you is Eliza and her monsters I gave this a good four star rating I quite enjoyed this I don't know if I say I would say it deserves the huge hype that I got on book two but I did enjoy it and I did like how we had oh, I can't find any now we had little snippets from her comic series in here her web series and I just I thought it was cute I love this cover it was it was a pretty cute story I don't really feel like going more into it but yeah Anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure to give this a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. My other channel and any other social media will be linked down below. Bye!